Slim 400 was affiliated with YG. Guy shot 10 times. 10? Ten? Ten I thought times. it was 8. 10? Let's see. It could have been 10. I just heard. I thought I heard 8 a little bit earlier. Uh, we reported 10. Not that it really matters one way or another at this point because he survived. Well, it's more bragging rights. You get shot ten times, them double digits. You know, you you, you can really <laughs> okay. you can really brag. You know, at the eight times, okay, fifty got shot. What eight times, nine times, something like nine that. Nine times. Yeah, damn, he's the top fifty. If he still live, hopefully he'll live. Uh, let me see. Shot nine times, right? Nine. Nine that times. Fifty. That's fifty. Okay. Cool. He, he got shot ten times. Yeah. Uh, but he actually recovered after multiple surgeries. He uh, he recovered already. Well, I mean, he, he's on the road to recovery. He's on the road to recovery. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say his <laughs> bounce back game ridiculous. <laughs> he's he back in the studio, back. <laughs> talking shit. Y'all all New album can't me. stop me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do a yeah. little dance, like yeah, no, none of that. Right. Did his jaws wired shut? Which I think is probably the least of his, his worries right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You puncture organs and, and stuff like that. Lead is no joke. I mean, you've been around people that have gotten shot. You yourself have never been shot. No, well, I've been shot. You've been shot? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We talked about this before. I believe so. What, refresh my memory. Oh, uh, I was shot in the back. Um, I was going to get some extra little treats for some kids I had at a, at a birthday party at my house. And, you know, um, dudes was behind me and reading my tattoos and everything. So we was at Taco Bell. And then when we left Taco Bell, we went down to a liquor store on the next block. And they had left already. So by the time we got there and pulled up, it kind of startled them, and they didn't know what we was coming up for. But we had a couple kids in the car and everything. My homie Rock, rest in peace, of Joshua Robinson. And um, we pulled up, and I went in the store, but I didn't have the right amount of change to get what I wanted to get. So I walked back out and was getting the change from Rock. When I walked back, it just got some kind of like funny feeling. And um, I looked back at the dude, and he was jacking off a little automatic weapon and he just started popping. So I was right in front of the car. So I ran away from the car, I ran back past him into the store. So I would draw the fire away from the kids. Mm. And he shot me in passing, shot me in the back. Uh, lungs collapsed, I had a catheter and my, uh, and my shit had to get 32 staples in my stomach. So he shot you once in the back? Yeah. Just because you're tattooed? Mm-hmm. Because now, because you were basically the enemy hood? Yeah, exactly. Rival gang. Okay. That was the only reason. You didn't know who it was or anything. You guys had never personally They met, knew who I was. But you didn't know who they were? No. Were you already the rapper? Trady? I was just becoming like the rapper. I think it was like 94. So, 21, so I think 21, 21 Jump, Jump Street, Street was, was out probably uh, dropping bombs on the show soundtrack. And mm -hmm. it was probably known I was working with Snoop, whatever like that. But I was still more known as Tracy D in the streets yeah. from Insane Crip. Uh, how close were you to your, house, to your neighborhood? Oh, we were on, we was in North Long Beach. We was my hood is on the east side, but I lived in North Long Beach, so I was about a mile and a half from my house. Okay, so it was still your hood, pretty much. No, that's no, that's, that's somebody not else. Your, no, that's someone that's, else's hood. Okay, yeah, not the hood of the people that shot me either, but they hung out in some projects on that side of town. Okay, so simply gang banging one side versus the other got you shot in the back. Mm-hmm. Collapse. What does it feel like to have your lungs collapse? Oh, wow. You, you don't know when those last little gasps of air are going to stop, you know, because um, after your lungs fill with blood, I think that's what causes them to collapse, the fluid. And, you know, it's just you can just take little sips of breath. It's just... <laughs> oh, so you're... Because your lungs not expanding. So what I did when after they shot me and they left, 
and the owner, the store guy called the police or an ambulance, whoever, I went and laid up against the freezer just so the cold would kind of like huh. keep me revived, you know what I'm saying? Keep me, you know, keep me there because it was hot and, you know, I could barely breathe. And I, I was like, man, I hope that motherfucking ambulance hurry up and get here, man, because this shit ain't cool. This ain't going to last too much longer. So you're sitting there in the middle of a Taco Bell? No, we had left the Taco Bell and went down to the liquor store. Oh, so you're in the liquor store. I'm in the liquor store. Up against the freezer. Up against the bleeding freezer. Bleeding onto the ground. <laughs> yeah. Quite a, quite a scene. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They rush you to the ambulance. Mm -hmm. The ambulance rushes you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And they revive you. Mm -hmm. Well, I was cool. I still was taking little small sips of breath till they threw me on the stretcher. Okay. And then they put the oxygen mask on you and that gives you, you know, oxygen. And then they find out where you bleed and that and all that kind of shit, you know. I put my faith in what they had to do. I wasn't even tripping. I'm like, damn, they're here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> how much, Save me. How much time passed between the shooting and the actual ambulance? <sighs> wow, I had to be... Shit, probably, they got there pretty quick. It was probably in between like seven to ten minutes. Wow. Okay. They, they saved your life. Yeah, they did. 100%. 100%. Oh, they did. An extra ten minutes, you could have just, just probably ran out of breath. Yeah. And yeah. Just suffocated to death. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you have no lungs. Yeah. Yeah. Probably would have been over. They took an extra five minutes, it probably would have been over. So they revive you. Mm hmm. Do you eventually pass out? No. You're up the whole time. I'm up until they, uh, until they put the catheter in me. I believe once they once they cut me under my arm to stick the catheter in, I don't really remember too much after that. I just woke up with staples in my stomach. Okay. Did you instantly want revenge? As soon as you woke up. Mm. Instantly, I think I was more grateful to be alive. Right. At that moment, and then when the homies started coming and see me in the hospital, it became like a war council. So, you know, um, things went on from that that uh, that was necessary to take place because you know it was a it was a bad move on their part to try to knock me down like that, but not really because you know like we was talking out there you, the trophy you know what I mean you become a trophy, you know. Yeah, I mean you're you're not just an insane crip, you're Tracy D, who's got songs on major major label soundtracks. You're the most popular guy not at that time though but i was becoming one of the most okay. popular guys then well you were the only person really known worldwide at that point so you you know maybe not popular on a street level no but, i was uh, popular on the street level i'm talking about i really was i only did like a couple of songs at that point and you know you know then you know you might hear somebody do a record with somebody yeah. you would never hear them okay. again fair enough <laughs> fair enough you're on your way though yeah, yeah, it was. I don't think they took that into account, though. It was just like, oh, we got this OG insane right here. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's take him down. Okay. Did you ever find out who did it? Speculation. It was, it was speculation. You know, I never really confirmed that it was this person specifically, but it didn't matter. It was all in the game, you know. More people bled, you know. You didn't care specifically who did it in a way in a way but then when the story was coming back it might have been him and it might be this person because he hang with this person that looked like this and you know it was just so many directions to go with it I was just like you know anybody can get it you know what I'm saying just like that's the climate it was so okay and that set off more violence oh yeah was there ever 
an official end to that, or is it just, no? It, it just... was all balled up into all the rest of the violence that goes on. Oh, he shot my cousin. Oh, he killed my little brother. Oh, you know, he shot three of the homeboys. And, you know, it's like back and forth, and you don't know what you're retaliating for at that point. It's okay. just warfare. Let's, let's just say. No, no truth in this whatsoever. Let me just preface it with that. Okay, okay. So I don't get people on edge. I open the door, and I bring in this guy, and I sit him down next to you, and I'm like, this is the guy who shot you. Mm -hmm. And he looks at you and said, I'm sorry, man. I was tripping back then. I was gangbanging. I was angry at the world. I had that happen. I'm, I'm older now. I got kids. I'm, I know who you are. I'm a fan of your music. My bad. What would you do? That's right, homie. What's your name? All right, for sure, for sure. I appreciate that, homie. Apology wasn't even necessary. We was living that life at the time. You know, ain't no thing, man, for sure. If that give you some kind of closure or whatever, that's cool. Solid. Wow. And you really mean that? No, oh, most definitely. Most definitely. I'm very impressed right now. Wow. Well, most people, you know, I've brought up this scenario with other guests who have gotten shot and so forth. You get various, I don't want to talk about it, or I would kill kill him right then and there, or you know, something, something. I've rare I've never had someone say, I would shake his hand and say, Yeah, it's all good. That's the life we was living at the time. When I'm gonna blame you for doing what you were supposed to be doing. Right. Because you were doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, you shouldn't have shot me. You should have waited to shoot a couple of my homeboys that came after me. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, we was all in the field then. You know. Yeah, man, um, I'm impressed right now. Like, you know, this was not the answer I, I, was, I was expecting. Right. Extremely mature. Extremely mature. Uh, man, yeah. Someone that shot you, do you still feel any sort of pain from that? or The bullet's still in my ribs. You still have a bullet. There. Yeah, they said it would have took more for them to cut it out. It would have probably did more damage trying to remove it from in between my ribs than just leaving it there tissue grow around it and everything so do you still feel it at all or nah, i work out handball basketball lift weights all this i i don't never okay. really no nah, it's never like oh fuck the bully you well, know it's raining you know, <laughs> yeah I feel it yeah, yeah i hear that shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh i know when it's gonna start raining because because <laughs> the bullets start tingling yeah no nah, it ain't that critical yeah man Hey, man, well, listen, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, I think that's like one of the ultimate forms of forgiveness. Oh, yeah. You, you know? got to forgive to be forgiven, too, man. You know, not to even hop on nothing religious or nothing. That's just, that's just real, man. That's just even with life, not even talking about the afterlife or dealing with the, the most high. But just, you know, if you want to, you, how you going to go around and not forgive nobody for nothing they did to you? And then, you know, you want to be, oh, my bad. And, you know, expect somebody to, give you that yeah you know and god blessed me with a lot of years on this earth to still be strong you know and i didn't die then you know so hey we here now <laughs> we both must got something left to do or we'll be out of here